At five, as we hunkered down last week for a potential tsunami along the coast, Oregon State University is furthering their research on how to build storm resistant homes. Now, Fox 12 Spencer Schott brings us inside OSU's Wave Lab as they're conducting their latest experiment. These waves behind me have been pummeling these houses all afternoon, and they were designed to recreate the impact of Hurricane Ian back in 2022. Now, you don't see a whole lot of damage to the houses right now, but inside each house are certain sensors tracking the structural integrity of the house to detect any damage that we can't see with the naked eye. But this experiment was about more than just recreating damage. They're looking at preventing it. Deck started. We're using 30 seconds. Two houses were built in OSU's directional wave basin. The orange house is built to the 100-year flood standard, which is the current FEMA standard. And the teal one is built to the 500-year standard. One of the things that we are testing is the difference between the elevation of those houses. Pedro Lomonaco is the director of the O.H. Hinsdale Wave Research Laboratory, and he's been leading the charge on this experiment for months. As the waves start to build up strength and size, he wants to see if they can recreate the damage of Hurricane Ian and possibly prevent it. And in the future, you could change how we build the houses, how we mitigate those, those effects, what is going to be damaged first, and how the house is going to be destroyed if, it, that, if that happens, is also an understanding how we structurally build those houses. I want to stick with coastal engineering. I really enjoy it. Bailey Bolton is an undergrad researcher who helped build these two houses. I'm excited to see when the walls that I've built failed because I think that'll be interesting. I'm like, okay, how are they holding up? Bolton grew up in Florida and saw the damage hurricanes can cause firsthand, which is why she wanted to come out to OSU to be a part of this research. Having a better understanding of like how the houses will fail and then being able to design uh, the houses um, in the future to help protect them and protect families and protect their livelihoods. While these waves are from a hurricane, tsunamis can have a similar devastating effect. Slomonaco is hopeful this research will have a reaching impact for coastal engineers, no matter the natural disaster they're trying to build around. That happens in the whole coast of not only the U.S., probably you have here, we have uh, researchers from all over the world that are interested in what we're doing. Now, this wave experiment that is going on behind me was the culmination of the National Science Foundation's summer research program, which brought in students from across the country and researchers from across the world. Reporting at OSU, Spencer Schott, Fox 12, Oregon.